Siamo arrivati alla sessione eh, di chiusura di questa mattina, sarà altrettanto interessante il pomeriggio, quindi dire, vi invito a rimanere. Eh, do la parola a Tea, eh, ho ringraziato Tea, il tuo paese, la Georgia, all'inizio di ah, in modo, forma... in modo eh, sostanziale e non formale perché la Georgia sta dimostrando di aver preso con grande determinazione il testimone della presidenza dell'OGP e, e quindi con grande piacere do eh, la parola a Tea eh, che fa parte del governo georgiano. Dear Minister Madia, thank you very much for having us um, here today. Dear guests, excellencies and friends. As we all know, the partner governments within the Open Government Partnership and what's also very important, the civil society organizations uh, elected Georgia to serve as the lead co-chair of this partnership, granting thus to us a great honor and responsibility. Open Government, we all know, uh, has expanded until today and covers a range of issues, wide range of issues, such as open data, access to information, anti-corruption, etc., etc. Of course, along with promoting these priorities and trying to strengthen movement towards each of these directions, we uh, aim to dedicate our chairmanship term to strengthen the basics of open government to ensure through broader civic dialogue people's opportunity to influence governmental decisions that affect their daily lives and this very important word of broader civic dialogue has been mentioned several times during this morning it's not therefore a surprise that the prime minister of georgia in december last year whilst addressing the Parliament of Georgia, declared that 2018 would be the year, of, the year of civic dialogue in Georgia. This is our vision. We have therefore carefully chosen key thematic areas of our term to ensure that open government partnership reforms in Georgia not only generate more tangible results, and have meanings and meaningful impact on the citizens' lives. We have declared that we have four strategic goals. First of all, strengthening co-creation and citizen engagement. And here, a young lady from the civil society from Estonia mentioned that we should realize at last that we have common goals and co-creation and co-engagement is very important. The second one is about advancing transparency and the fight against corruption. And in this field, of course, Georgia has many things to share and show when it comes to very successful and everyday work uh, in the anti-corruption field. The third priority we declared with our co-chair um, a representative of the civil society from South Africa, Mr. Mukelani Dimba, is generating innovation in public service delivery. The fourth one is build a better partnership. So, the cornerstone we build up our vision on is a citizen. And as you see, strengthening co-creation and citizen engagement. This is one of the three themes around which the fifth global summit of OGP will be concentrated on and it will be held in Georgia between 17th and 19th of July this year. You all are cordially invited to this uh, summit and I'm very happy to announce with our friends in the support unit that Electronic registration will be coming soon in the beginning of March and I would ask to take this opportunity to come and 
benef take benefit from this very important event and networking possibility at the geographical, cross geographic crossroads of Georgia between Asia and Europe. Georgia is um, uh, experiencing uh, different um, priorities, but also innovations in the Open Government Partnership uh, Initiative. And I can say as a co-chair of this um, partnership that I'm happy to see that in, your, in Georgia, not only the government as the executive is very active in this, but all the three branches of power. And what's the most important, the judiciary also is participating in this um, partnership. Of course, parliament as well. And I'm especially very pleased to see that the city of Tbilisi is one of the participants of uh, subnational programs. And it's not uh, thus surprising that we have in today in Georgia's delegation, Mr. Kaladze, who is the mayor of Tbilisi and well known in this city of Milan, but one of the most popular politicians in Georgia, who stands firm on uh, opening up the municipality of the biggest city of Georgia's. So we try to show that the open partnership um, is not only about governments, and maybe it's high time to engage reflection about the fact that open um, government partnership is also about judiciary, parliament, and municipalities in every country. As I mentioned, we try uh, to encourage as well, um, not only co-creation, but peer learning, and Georgia tries its best to show um, to lead by example and share with others our strong track record to date, be it OGP Georgia Forum, Voice of the Consumer in the Public Service Delivery Field, the brand new iChange e-petition portal, etc., etc. But what we need, if I may, as a co-chair, uh, is also um, more active engagement from the European leaders. And that's why I'm very grateful for this event uh, held in Milan. Because uh, as a former lawyer of the European Court of Human Rights, I happened to work for that organization for 10 years. I do remember that day when the European Union declared that it would join the European Convention of Human Rights. And it was, it was a big day for us lawyers of that organization. So um, this uh, very big day comes to my mind very often today, and I do think that we um, are right in the OGP to um, look for uh, strengthening ties with the EU in the OGP as well, and also invite those European Union and more broadly European countries who are not still members of this wonderful partnership to examine this possibility internally uh, and maybe join very soon one day this remarkable partnership uh, which should not be missed. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity, dear minister, dear friend, and we do wait for your participation in the World Summit uh, to be held in Georgia, as I mentioned, in July this year. Thank you very much.